everybody, welcome back to Filmmonger. I'm your guy, Trey Baker, and today, with all the news coming out with Spider-Man No Way Home, we felt it would only be fitting to put together an awesome compilation of Tom Holland spoiling some of the biggest MCU moments and some of our favorite spoilers from him. Before we get started, we always like to start with a little bit of Marvel trivia, and we've got a great Spider-Man one for you today. This one's a little bit easier than the ones I've been giving, so I hope you're able to get this one. And it is, which character bullied Peter Parker in high school? Let me know if you know that in the comments below without looking, and we'll be sure to give you a like if you get that right. Now let's get to it. Agent Romanoff, you miss me? Oh yeah, Charles, we got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Your Highness. Captain, big fan, Spider-Man. Hey everyone. A recent article came out with Tom Holland saying that he's trying to be extremely careful with what he says in regards to Spider-Man No Way Home. I, I can't, I can't really tell you any more than that. I'm just as excited as everyone else to see it, let okay. alone be a part of it. Obviously with this being the biggest movie of the year and Tom Holland's not so great track record, it's clear that he's really making an effort to not spoil this movie. He's even going to the absolute lengths of not even talking about the Spider-Man post the Spider-Man No Way Home film. A lot of people have been wondering, well, is Tom Holland coming back? Are Sony and Marvel gonna have that riff once again? Which if you're asking for my opinion, I don't figure so because Venom's in the MCU unless he's going in for one movie, it seems that Sony and the MCU have a long standing relationship ahead of them. That being said, Tom Holland said, hey, yo, I'm not saying nothing about what I'm doing after Spider-Man No Way Home. That might have me slip up and mess up the whole thing. Obviously, Spider-Man No Way Home, with all these little leaks coming here and there, still has a ton packed into it that we don't know quite yet, yet many fans like myself are anticipating learning more. That's why today we're like, hey, let's give our audience some of the best Tom Holland spoiler moments that we can find. So here's our first one. <sighs> So I have something a little exciting to share with you today, I think. I don't really know what it is. Um, but from the door today, I got a parcel from none other than Mr. Mark Ruffalo himself. And I thought I would open it on live for you guys. I don't know what it is, I'm quite excited. It's quite thin. So this is like an unboxing video on YouTube. Today I'll be unboxing a gift from Mark Ruffalo. Let's see what it is. Okay. Whoa. Yo. That's dope. So I guess this is the new Avenger Avengers Infinity War May 4th. That is so cool. Let's see what else he put in there. Hi Tom, I'm so excited to be working with you on Infinity War. I thought you'd like to be the first to see the poster for the movie. Enjoy, Mark Ruffalo. Uh, no, 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 no. It's always so funny to see people react to what Tom Allen would say in situations like this. And it's funny because Tom Holland is legitimately just a fan. That's one of the things I love about when Tom Holland spoils things is he doesn't come from it as like, he's trying to let you know what's going on. In fact, it's quite the opposite. He's just so stinking excited and it comes out and unfortunately it kind of uh, spo spoils things. Once again, that's just why when it comes to Spider-Man No Way Home, he's really making an extra effort. He does not want to reveal any information. And I'm actually pretty impressed because you know, when it comes to Andrew Garfield and Tim McGuire, we still don't really definitively know. And Tom Holland obviously does, so he's done a great job at keeping us in the dark. Here's another great time where Tom Holland was spoiling things once again. Reading what I thought was a fake script because it was like Spider-Man's in space. So I didn't finish it, <laughs> but I, I found out it was real. <laughs> okay. I've seen, I don't even know how to react to what Tom just said there. Yeah. I mean, I really don't. <laughs> What did yeah. I just say? You said Spider-Man's in space. Oh, that thing, right, yeah. It's really yeah. awesome. <laughs> it's like men in black. Every 20 seconds, you just wipe it. Yeah. <laughs> I've had, um, on Spider-Man 1, um, not that I've done more than one. Um, <laughs> Obviously in a situation like this, it makes a lot of sense when they gave Tom Holland little to no of the storyline when it came to Avengers Endgame. I was like, do you know how this ends? He was like, yeah. I was like, tell me. He's like, nope. So everybody knows but you. Everybody knows. 
Tom Holland struggles with spoilers, and Avengers Endgame was not the movie to spoil. It's actually pretty funny learning about how in the dark he was. He'd show up on set, he would play his role, he didn't have any context for anything, and then he'd be on his way. Of course, he'd have a little bit of information here and there, but he was definitely in the dark on the overarching plot. This is something that Tom is really nervous about when it comes to Spider-Man No Way Home. I know I've said this a couple times, but Tom is worried that any information about the future Spider-Man post Spider-Man No Way Home is indicating what might be happening. And one of my theories here is that we might actually have a definitive ending if this is true, or we might be leaving Spider-Man in a separate universe. There's a lot of little threads here that make me think, okay, if they're worried about talking about the continuation of Spider-Man, makes me think that this would reveal something that's taken place in Spider-Man No Way Home. I keep saying that when you think about it being connected to the Multiverse of Madness with Doctor Strange, that title of movie doesn't make it seem that they figure out the multiverse in Spider-Man No Way Home, which leaves the question, well, what happens in Spider-Man No Way Home? What happens to Spider-Man? And that might be exactly what Tom Holland is void. Here's another situation where Tom spoiled some MCU secret. We went to the screening and someone had told me before that they have already seen the film. They've already seen the film. So they give me a microphone, I walk on stage, and I'm like, don't worry, I'm still alive. <laughs> the whole audience look at me like, the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> you still alive. Oh, Tom Holland. Boy, we do love you, but man, you cannot keep your mouth shut. And there's just so many times of like Benedict Cumberbatch and other MCU actors and actresses trying to keep Tom Holland from saying anything. It's actually an interview where he's like, hey, I know what I'm known for, spoilers. And the interview is like, I wasn't going to say that, but yeah, we know that that's true. So he also knows that about himself and he's actively trying to work on it. Here's another sequence of Tom Holland spoiling stuff for the MCU. Oh, I think yeah, there'll be Spider-Man 2 and 3. It won't be Homecoming 2 that's and 3. Yeah. almost a scoop because we knew about the second one, but not the third one. Yeah, well, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> Sorry, Marvel. Whoops. <laughs> There's one... There was like some time where they dangled my poor stunt double under a helicopter and dunked him in a lake. Damn it. This is live, isn't it? Damn. So at one point, Spider-Man ends up in a lake. Uh, but um, I'm gonna get in so much trouble now. Oh no! We love Tom Holland. We love the new Spider-Man movies. We cannot be any more excited for Spider-Man at home than we already are. I mean, look, I mean, we've just been talking about it all week. And it's just fun with Tom Holland being at the helm of the Spider-Man franchise and being a legitimate fan of Marvel, a legitimate fan of Spider-Man. It makes it really, really enjoyable. It comes through in his acting and it makes moments like these so endearing because when you have that like childish like excitement when it comes to films and the stories and plots, it actually makes it so much more endearing than just a slip up or not being professional. That's something that I really enjoyed about Tom Holland is that even in the midst of all these spoilers, you still just really find him lovable because he does love Marvel so much. Any of you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We do have the answer to that trivia question at the beginning. So if you haven't written down your answer, you want to write it down right now. The answer to who was the character that bullied Peter Parker in high school? His name is Mr. Flash Thompson. He was star football player who mercilessly bullied his high school classmate Peter Parker, but greatly admired Spider-Man ironically. If you got that right, we'll be sure to let you know in the comments below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, guess what? You can like, you can subscribe, you can turn notifications on. And if you do, you'd be really helping us out here at the channel. And if you do, it would really help us here out at the channel. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.